Hello, Z-Bird. In today's episode of Detective Pikachu Returns, the farther we get into the ruins, the more dangerous they become. But more puzzles await us if we want to find the exit. So let's get started. Whoa, a door's opening. Or closing? Uh, the door closed. Not good. We've got to tell Tim and the others. Right away. Hmm. Why did the door suddenly close like that? You think you're strong enough to open that door? Nuh-uh. Even I couldn't open a door that big. Yeah, I figured. I better go discuss this with Tim. Let's get back to the others, Jarmanitian. So we can't go back the way we came. We need to let Tim and the others know that the door is closed. We're stuck in here. That's not good. So we have to head right over this way. Yeah. And I guess just catch up with everybody. First, I guess we can talk to Rachel yes. and stuff. What was that sound? Welcome back. What? Why do you look so worried? Right. That rumble we just heard. I've got a bad feeling about it. Let's go talk to Tim then. I've got bad news, Tim. The door to the ground floor just closed. What? Is that what that big rumbling sound was? Yeah, that was the door shutting tight. But why would it do that? No idea, it just kinda happened. What do we do? We gotta find a way out. Maybe we should try talking to Gordon? He might know something we don't. Good idea, I'll see what he has to say. No. I see. So that rumble really was the door closing. Did you suspect that already, Professor? Yes, but the same thing happened when I came down this floor. There was suddenly a deep rumbling sound and then I was trapped down here on this floor. That must have been one of the two rumbling sounds Slowpoke said he heard. Isn't there another exit? I believe so, yes. Do you know where? There may be one in the deepest room of the ruins. It said that these runes were originally built to host a ritual that strengthens the bond between people and Pokemon. There's an ancient document describing the ritual, and I found one line particularly interesting. Solve all the riddles in the deepest place and find yourself back in the sun's embrace. The sun's embrace must be a reference to the outside. I see. So if we solve all the riddles of the ruins, we might be able to find an exit to get out of here. Yes, if that document is to be believed. I wonder what kind of riddles it's referencing. I'm not sure, but I'm curious about the two murals on this floor. I can't say for certain that they're related to the riddles or the ritual, but they must have some meaning or other. There's the mural in this room and the and one in the other room. Why don't you take a good look at them both? Thanks, Professor. We'll investigate them right away. Thank you. I'll stay here and ponder these riddles a bit more. You find anything, come let me know. Of course. So, how can we get across a water-filled hole? Completed, of course, but now we have to do what did the murals on the second basement level mean? One final puzzle must be solved to escape the ruins. Examine the murals and figure out how to activate the mechanism. Gordon to Gordon, it sounds like there are clues in the murals. Yeah, the mural in this room and the mural in the other room. I think we'll be able to find a way out of here if we can figure out what those two murals mean. Let's go investigate, Tim. Okay, so I guess we'll start investigating around a little bit and see if what clues we can figure out. So first off, let's hear Pikachu. <gasps> whoa, 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 whoa. Oh no! Ouch! Poor Pikachu. Watch your step, Tim. It's uh, slippery here. Sure seems like it. So we'll talk to everybody now. Right. If we can figure out the secret of the ruins, we should be able to find an exit. You've made it this far, I'm sure you could do this too. I'm counting on that great detective work I've heard so much about. Right, I'll do my best. Don't worry, you've got me with you. I'm sure we can find something as simple as an exit. You're worried because you want, wanted to hurry and get Mr. Go home, but now we're all stuck? Don't worry, we'll figure something out. His face may not show it, but Slowpoke is pretty concerned, huh? Yes. Who'd have guessed that we'd get stuck in here too? 
I'm so sorry we put you in danger like this, Rachel. Why are you apologizing? Coming here was my decision. Besides, I know you two will find the exit. We'll certainly try. This is your chance to show her what you've got, Tim. Really, Pikachu? This again? <laughs> and the bag. That's Professor Gordon's bag. That's a proper adventure bag. It looks really cool. Okay, so yeah, we have this over here. It's a mural depicting a human. Let's see if we can if if it can give us any clues about the exit. Okay. I bet we can find some important hints here. Let's examine this closely. So first off, we have this little human statue figure. This looks like a drawing of a human. Yeah, the style is similar to the relief we saw in the entrance too. It looks like there's a pedestal or something under its feet. Maybe it's depicting a statue of a human? Human statue. The Pissimian murals are all, all correspondent to the specific statues. So maybe there's a human statue somewhere too. We saw some reliefs of a human carved into a wall, but I don't remember seeing any statues. All right, so I guess we might just have to follow this little footstep trail. Hmm. These look like footprints. Footprints on a mural of a human. Based on the direction they're pointing, it looks like they're walking away from the human. But they're zigzagging everywhere. I think there's some meaning to that weird path. Okay, and then here's the exit, presumably. I wonder if the door drawn here is supposed to be the exit out of the ruins. Door-like object in the, in the human room. Hey. Seems that way, but we haven't been anywhere that looks like this. Or could the exit be then? All right. I think that's all there is to see here. Well, first is also always Pikachu. Ow. My tail really hurts for some reason. I can't imagine why, right, Tim? <laughs> Maybe because we kicked him. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Is there anything else to examine here, though? Or was it just Pikachu again? I think it was just Pikachu again. Okay, yeah, I don't see much else. So I think we're good to back up. And look at some other stuff. So we know that there's another room. First, we can talk to Darmanitan. Do you know if there are any other exits, Darmanitan? He seems to be thinking really hard. Okay, so he's thinking about it. Can we exit through here again? I don't think we can. We'll look around a little bit then for sure. I mean, first off, we can go back this way where Dermanitan chased us around. And like, maybe there are some secrets here. We can run so fast through here now, it's a little crazy. Um, as it currently stands, it doesn't seem like there's anything over here or in this room either. But always good to check. Yep, okay, so we'll go to the room that has the other mural in it, and that should definitely give us some extra hints on where we're actually supposed to go. Oh, it looks like Pikachu wants our attention. I can feel a breeze, even though we're underground. What strange ruins. I wonder if there's another hole somewhere. I'd imagine that there has to be. That's the case. Still nothing on, nothing on this side, but maybe over here? So obviously we have another mural. Doesn't look like there's anything else going on in this room, so we'll rush over this way and check this out. Hmm. It's a mural depicting a Pokemon. This might be a clue about the exit. Let's check it out. Hey. Now think really hard as you examine this. Okay, so first off, more footsteps. Hmm. Are these Pokemon footprints? Footprints on a mural of a Pokemon. Hey. I think we can be pretty sure of that. They remind me of the ones in the mural of the human we saw earlier. They're taking a weird path. Do you think that means something? I think so. And then of course, this actual Pokemon. It's an image of a Pokemon. Is, th is it this meant to be Clefairy? Well, there were those reliefs, reliefs of Clefairy carved into the entrance. But this mural, what's the shape under Clefairy's feet? It looks like some sort of pedestal. Maybe it's depicting a statue of Clefairy? Pokemon statue. The Pisimian murals were representing statues, so maybe this one is too. If that's the case, though, there should be an actual statue somewhere. Maybe we just haven't found it yet. And then of course, up here we have the door. Do you think this drawing represents a door? Door-like object in the Pokemon mural. There was a drawing just like this on the mural with the human too. 
And that's the exit. We should be able to get out through there if we solve this last puzzle. All right. I think that's all there there is to see here. Except, of course, Pikachu. Oh, maybe not. Do I not get to see Pikachu this time? I guess not. All right, so yeah, we'll back up. So, I'm okay, guessing that this means, deducing. yeah, we can deduce that there's probably going to be a path that Pikachu has to walk, the path okay, that Tim has to walk. Deducing. So, just move over here. What do the murals on the second basement level mean? Let's take a look at all of our clues. Pokemon statue, an image of a Pokemon in a mural. It looks like it's standing on a rock or pedestal, which seems to suggest that it's a statue. Human statue, an image of a human in a mural. It looks like it's standing on a rock or pedestal, which seems to suggest that it's a statue. Footprints on a mural of a Pokemon. Footprints that are all walking away from a Pokemon statue. They seem to indicate some sort of path. Footprints on a mural, mural of a human. Footprints that are walking away from a human statue. They seem to indicate some sort of path. Door-like objects in the Pokemon mural. A door-like object in the mural depicting a statue of a Pokemon it may represent an exit. And then same thing, a door-like object in the human mural. It's sort of the same thing, just with the human. So, well, we've examined both murals. Did we learn anything? The murals seem to be hinting at something. Let's figure out what it is together. So we have three options. The way to the exit. The footprints in the mural might indicate where the exit is. To move to the statues. The footprints in the murals are moving away from the statues. Maybe that means the statues could, should be moved in those directions. The location of the statues. The footprints in the, sta in the murals might indicate where the statues are located. So I don't think it's this one because the footsteps are leading away. I guess we could retrace the steps backwards, but I don't think that's what it's trying to indicate. With this one, the statues, we haven't seen the statues anywhere, so we really couldn't push them to those locations. I think the way to the exit, the footprints in the murals might indicate where the exit is. That might be it? It's honestly hard to say for this one, but I think this might lead to something. It's really confusing. Um, but I think this one might be our best bet. Oh, oh no. There's a door depicted in both murals. Maybe the murals are showing us where the hidden exit is. That's our first time we got on a deduction wrong. If that's the case, why don't the footprints lead to the exit? I think the footprints mean something else. So I guess, hmm. well, we've examined both murals. Did you learn anything? Okay, so what else can we say? I'm not really quite sure. I guess we can try this one. There we go. Both murals depict footprints moving away from a statue. Could that mean we need to move the statues in the same direction as the footprints? Hmm, the footprints are moving away from the statues, so we should move the statues the same direction. I think you might be onto something here. We've still got one problem, and it's a big one. Yeah, we don't know where those statues are. Exactly, even if we understand a clue, it's useless if we can't find the mechanism itself. There's gotta be a room on this floor somewhere that has those statues. Nothing in the murals indicates that, though. Hmm, then where the heck are the statues? Well, that's where I think we're getting it wrong. I see, you figured out that what, what, the, uh, what those murals mean, but you still don't know where the exit is. Right, and we've already looked through every room down here. I'm not sure where else we can look. The old document said that the exit was in the deepest room, but the deepest, huh? Wait a second, have we really searched all the rooms? Hmm, I can't be sure until we look around a bit more. Why don't we try looking at the deepest room in the ruins one more time, Tim? Um, this is the room where we were in when you, when, we, when you went to go check on the professor, right? This room is the farthest back from the entrance of, to the ruins, which makes it the deepest. I think we should probably look around here again. We saw that hole in the next room before, but we might find something else. Okay, let's give it another, another once over. Thanks, Tim. Can't say I know exactly what we're looking for, but let's pay close attention to the walls on the floor. I just know that with the entrance of the ruins, it showed a human and a Clefairy, and we were supposed to take the spot of whatever they were posing. I figured that might be the case here, where we are actually sort of the statues in that way. But we'll take a look around and see what else we can find. I mean, obviously there's this giant ice wall. There's a wall of ice here. Doesn't look like there's another room in this direction. It really is a big hunk of ice, though. You think Mr. Mime and Bergmite made it? Wait, maybe this wall is... What is it, Pikachu? Hold on, I feel like I'm on the brink of an epiphany. 
the puzzles and the murals. Also, a maze with a dead end. What are you thinking, Pikachu? Of course! It all makes sense now! A bolt of brilliance! Whoa! There's a mechanism on the other side of this wall! Oh! Oh, oh. oh no! Poor Pikachu. Huh? If the mechanism's on the other side of this ice wall, then what we thought was real was is just a real wall is just a thick slab of ice? This is the only wall that's completely frozen over. Don't you find that odd? I'm sure this wall is the same as the one Mr. in Mr. Mime's room. So this is nothing but ice. It sure looks like a wall to me. I mean, we don't have any proof yet, but there's one way to find out. Go ahead and do what you do, Bastard Manitan. What's wrong? You really need your strength right about now. Pikachu seems to be asking him to break down the wall of ice, but Darmanitan's not even trying to do it. Maybe he doesn't want to break this ice? Apparently, there's someone in there, and he's not sure it's a good idea to let us in. Seems like Darmanitan is still weary of us humans. Darmanitan, please listen. I know you can't understand what I'm saying, but we don't mean you or your friends any harm. We make it out of here, I'll make it my personal mission to help you. I'll take care of you and all of your friends, I swear. Tim, do you think your Pikachu could put in a good word for us? Please, Darmanitan, we're all friends here. Sounds like he's on board. So he really did understand our feelings? All Give right, here we go. Darmanitan. Manitan! Ho, 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 nice. And that opened it up. Whoa, this room is crazy. There's a whole tree down here. It's sort of peaceful. Amazing. Magnificent. Whoa. What a sight. For sure. So we made our way deeper into here and I found some ancient scrolls as well as an entire tree. Wow. So there was a room here after all. Just like I said. Pretty impressive, Pikachu. There should be a mechanism in this room that we can activate. Huh? Uh-oh. Whoa! Ice cube. Icy poker face. Hi! Oh no! I promise, we're not gonna hurt you! Uh-oh. It pressed the button. Oh no. That's shaking just now. Oh! That shaking felt just like when the door closed before. Ice Goo caused that somehow, right? Yeah, it stepped on some kind of switch on the floor. He's saying that Ice Q didn't mean to shut us in here. Should we? So we shouldn't blame her. Don't worry, we're not blaming her for anything. Was Darmanitan hesitant to break the wall because of Ice Q? He says Ice Q is even more afraid of humans than the rest of the Ice Pokemon are. That's why he built a huge wall of ice so no one else could get in this room. It might be good to hear Ice Q's story too. I just hope we can get, convince her to trust us. We can try talking to her while we are solving the mystery of the mechanism. All right, so investigate the mechanism of the ruins and talk to Ice Q. So I guess first things first is that we'll talk to Pikachu. Long ago, tons of meteorites fell here from the sky. And around the same time, these ruins were built. Meteorites and ruins. There might be some kind of deep connection between the two. I'm sure there is. Oh, you all got in here through the hole in, the, in this room ceiling? And you're sorry you didn't tell us about this room even though you knew about it? Don't worry about it, Darmanitan. I know you were just looking out for your friend. All right, well, we figured it out in the end afterwards and there's a bunch of stuff around here. This is the tree that Ice Q was up in. It's pretty amazing that, this, that a tree this big could grow in an underground room like this. Well, look, there's light coming in from where the roof collapsed. That light must be what happened to the tree, what helped the tree grow so big. 
and we have this little Clefairy statue. It's a Clefairy statue, just like in the mural. This is definitely the right room then. Now we just have to move this statue exactly how the mural showed. There should be a human statue too. Where do you think that is? It's gotta be in this room somewhere. Let's look around. We'll talk to Ice Cube if they're willing to talk. A lot bigger than I thought Ice Cube would be. You don't need to be scared, Ice Cube. We're friends of Darmanitan. Yes, really. So could you please trust us? It's okay if it's just if it's just a few questions, huh? About you, Ice Cube. Hey. Have you been in this room the whole time? Oh, okay. You all came in through a hole in the ceiling. And then all the others left the room. You stayed here because you were too scared. So you got Darmanitan to make you a big wall of ice to keep you safe inside. She must have been really terrified. You don't need to be scared anymore, Ice Cube. We're here to rescue you. Yeah, really. So cheer up, Ice Cube. We've got your back. Aw, looks like she's smiling a little. Really? I uh can't really tell from her face. About Darmanitan. Hmm. So Darmanitan's been protecting you this whole time. And he made sure to stay nearby too, to make you feel safe. And it's thanks to Darmanitan that you were able to escape from the people in white. I can see why you, you're intent on replaying him, repaying him someday. But you know he doesn't expect anything in return, right? That's not why he did it. Don't do anything too rash. About the people dressed in white. Hey. Where are the humans who captured you all? Really far away, huh? You walked for days before you found this place? Just the thought of th that those humans might come here really scares you? Don't worry, if they show up here, we'll send them packing. All right, well, nice to catch up with Ice Cube. So they're on one of the switches for sure, but we'll talk to you two as well. We got the uh, right. Tre Trevor Gordon over here. So, this is the last room. I hope we can find the exit without much trouble. There's a big ice block here. There's a big hunk of ice here. I guess you probably made it. It is really, it really is big though. I'm surprised she could make something of this scale. Slowpoke. Slow. What is it, Slowpoke? He's been working so hard to rescue Gordon, I think he's just about out of steam. Hang in there just a little bit longer, Slowpoke. And then Rachel. Yes. Darmanitan was worried about Ice Cube, huh? I guess he was just trying to protect his friend. Okay, so where is this human statue? I would suppose it's probably under that ice, right? But there's not too much more to do. Tim, I'm sure the exit is in this room. There's no need to go back there. So, can I push this then? Oh. If we move the statue, the exit of the ruin should open. There should be another statue too. Let's look for it. I think it's under the ice, so let's look at the door too. This must be the exit of the out of the ruins. Mm -hmm. It's no good. This thing's not gonna open unless we figure out the mechanism. We've looked all over the room, but I didn't see a statue of a human anywhere. There has to be one though. Let's talk to Gordon again. Good idea. Ask Professor Gordon for advice. Right. Hey Professor, we can't find one of the statues depicted in the murals. Do you have any idea where it might be? Unfortunately, I don't. Hmm, even Gordon stumped. Many aspects of this place differ from what I expected based on the pre preparatory research, like the wall of ice, for example. Why don't we try talking through this, Tim? Sure. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm good. What exactly did you want to talk about? For starters, I want to ask for your help. All right, Tim. Do you think you can use your detective skills to help us get out of here? Sure. With you two working together, I'm sure we'll find the way out. Based on what we've experienced so far, we should be able to get out if we can get this door open. I wonder if there are any clues in this room. What in this room could be the key to the puzzle? Fairies, the Clefairy statue depicted in the mural, Dermanitan, or the door depicted in the mural? I think that, of course, for the key to the puzzle, it has to be the Clefairy statue. A mural on this floor depicts a statue of a Clefairy. That statue could be the very, to be to be the key to this puzzle. Awesome, that was right. Wasn't there a mural depicting a Clefairy statue and some footprints? That mural may be the key to solving the mystery of this room. 
I think you're right. The tiles here match the squares in that mural too. If that's the case, the mural in the room I was in must be related too. However, looking around, I'm not seeing a statue of a human in here. Where is the human statue? Up in the tree, buried under rubble, hidden in the ice, broken and gone. The tree may have grown under the statue and carried it upward. Sections of these ruins have collapsed. The statue could be buried in the rubble in this room. Judging from the mural, the statue should be inside the hunk of ice. Dermanitan is awfully strong. He could have punched the statue and destroyed it. I feel like it might be hidden under that ice, right? I mean, it's the same type of tile, but it could be buried in the rubble to the side, over on the tree, but I think it might be the ice. I guess I was right. Do you remember where the human statue was located in the mural itself? Of course I remember. I was staring at that thing for two days straight. The human statue was in the second row from the top, on the leftmost side of the mural. And if we assume these tiles are laid out the same as those in the mural... There! That chunk of ice! All right, looks like you're up, Derma! Oh, here we go! Manna! Oh, nice! So it was hiding here the whole time. Okay, so, we've got the two statues, but what are we supposed to do now? I'm sure the murals must have a clue as to how the mechanism works. What should we do with the two statues? Move the statues, walk toward the statues, take the statues to the murals, walk away from the statues. The footprints in the murals represent the path to move the statues. If we walk the path of the footprints in the mural back towards the statues, something should happen. If we carry the statues to the murals, something should happen, and then the footprints in the murals that pick the way to the exit from the statues. I think it's gotta be the first one. We have to move the statues in that path. And that was good. There are footprints depicted in the murals. They must indicate the paths to move the stone statues. So that's what they represent. Let's give it a try. All right, sounds like a plan. Hey, Tim, come give me a hand. Yeah. And there we go. Oh, they're holding hands. What's going on? Nothing's happening. Huh, I was sure that would work. Now that I see the two statues next to each other, the way they're posed looks somehow meaningful. Isn't coexistence between humans and Pokemon a recurring theme in these ruins? Yeah, the decor and artifacts here all attest to that. You see it too, don't you, Tim? <clears throat> What should we do after moving the statues? Create, create the missing hand and connect the statues. Put berries in front of the statues. Tap the ground with the statues. Knock the statues together. The Clefairy statue is missing its hand. If we make a new hand from the Clefairy statue to connect the human statue's hand, it will represent coexistence between humans and Pokemon. If we put berries on the statues like we did with the Pasimian statues, the door might open. The footprints in the murals might be representing the sound of footsteps. If we knock the Clefairy statue and the human statue together, it may activate the mechanism and open the door. I think it's gotta be this first one. It looks like the game agrees. A pose that symbolizes coexistence between humans and Pokemon. Something that represents both sides cooperating, working hand in hand. That's it. We need the statues to hold hands. But the left statue's hand is missing. What can we do about that? Could hmm. we use a Pokemon move? Good idea, Rachel. And we've got the perfect allies right here with us. <laughs> All right. 
Lobo. Seems like it. That includes me, right? Maybe. So then, who should we ask for help? Who should we ask for help? Dermatitim can use his strength as a chisel. Slowpoke can soak the statues. Pikachu can hold hands with the statues. Or Ice Goo can use a move to freeze the statues. If Darmanitan uses his strength to chisel down the Clefairy's statue's arm, it could be shaped into a small hand. If Slowpoke sprays those statues with water, it'll take some time, but eventually the water will freeze on Clefairy's arm and form the shape of a hand. If Pikachu touches the statues, his electricity might activate the mechanism. Ice Goo can cover her head in ice. If she uses ice to connect the statues where their hands would meet, she can make the statues hold hands. I think it's gotta be this one. And I guess so. That's it. Let's ask Ice Goo to help. Ice Goo? So cute. I see. I hadn't thought of that. Huh. You've got this, Ice Cube. <laughs> All right, let's see what you got. Whoa! And look at that. The ice is connecting it. I think that did the trick. Here it goes. Oh, we did it. There's the exit. Yes. Thank you, Tim. Hey, maybe you should come to my class as a guest lecturer. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'd love to see that. Yes. Yes. Hold on. I heard someone talking but behind sure, us. I mean, huh? I'm sorry, sorry, sir. You've let those ice Pokemon escape? You're getting sloppy! W well, we did retrieve the meteorites. Then get back here! Now! I swear, could that guy be any boss here? Who is this? Hmm? Now what? Oh, Detective Pikachu! Bring you earn me some respect. Listen up, pal! Hand over that Pikachu and I'll let you walk out of here. What did you say? Are you really sure threatening us is a good idea? Oh man. <laughs> He's out of here. Doctor, no! Pikachu! Uh oh. <laughs> Whoa! Here we go! Alright! And the chase is on! Oh, this is so exciting! Whoa! Oh no! That's gotta hurt. Now we might be in trouble. Oh, it's Ice Cube! You got it, buddy! Oh no! Your Ice Cube! Poor thing. Oh, now you've done it! What is that? Defeat Mama Swine! Don't mind if I do! Mash the button, come on! Come on, come on, come on! Oh, it's hot! Things have really heated up! Whoa! Oh, nice! And whoa, we found our way out with that! That was intense! Phew! We are finally out of there. P Professor, you're okay. Chris, sorry to worry you. <laughs> well, we managed to get out after all. Yeah, but who was that man just now? Do you think he was one of the people in white that Dermanitan was talking about? Sure seems that way to me. He must have come looking for Dermanitan and the others. Right, but what for? First the Aurora drop and now this? Feels like we were caught in the middle of a bunch of stuff we don't understand. 
What should Darmanitan and his friends do now? I'll make sure they're okay. Thank you so much, Professor. Yes, well, I've got to set a good example for my students, you know. If the Professor takes all the ice Pokemon home, the ruins should return to normal soon, too. But yeah, and Monferno will be able to come back. Now then, you should get home. That man from before is still around here somewhere. And for all we know, he has friends around here, too. You're right. Thanks for all of your help, Professor Gordon. Hey, you're the one who sa that saved me. You're certainly an interesting student. My office door will always be open to you, so please, stop by any time. We'll be right here, Tim, so just say the word when you're ready to go home. Well, we'll talk to Rachel when we're ready to go home, but there's one thing I definitely have to do that I kept forgetting about before, and I guess I just didn't realize that the bird was there, but we didn't do the Quizmaster stuff, so let me go and get that done now before we skedaddle, because I think that'll be my last chance to get it done. So, first we'll talk to you. Oh, hello, detective. Have you figured out the answer? <laughs> yes, it's Rowlet. Bingo, that's it. Maybe I gave too many hints. Rowlet are nocturnal. During the day, they stay still and hypo po or photosynthesize. When they hunt, they silently sneak up on their prey and attack it with fierce kicks. Glad we didn't meet it at night then. We might have got learned about those sneak attacks the hard way. On to question number two. What well, Pokemon has a blocky body, impressive jaws, and will shock you if you touch it? A blocky body? Is there really a Pokemon like that? Maybe it's an electric type Pokemon. I guess we can keep an eye out for it. I know exactly where that is. That's actually right next to the Rowlet. So we'll run all the way back over here to, of course, charge a bug. Ah. Oh, you look just like that. what the quiz pro professor described. Yeah, she must have been talking about charge a bug. No, oh, it's nothing important. Sorry if we startled you. Anyway, now that we know the answer, let's go tell her. Okay, so we're running all the way back over. And we'll chat with you again. Hi, detective. Judging by the look on your face, you found the answer. <laughs> yep, the answer is charge a bug. Exactly, good job. Charge a bug eat fallen leaves and convert them into electricity. And they can store that electricity just like a battery. Seems like they'd be pretty useful Pokemon to have in the great outdoors. If only a certain Pikachu had that talent. Hey Tim, you know I can hear you, right? And now for question number three. This is the last one. What Pokemon is soft and fluffy all over? Wow, that last question is really vague. Just find the fluffiest Pokemon around these runs. Soft and fluffy, huh? I wonder if anyone could beat this fine for a code of mine. Well, I think that's gonna be the Eldegoss that was on the other side of the ruins entrance. So we'll get this one done. Elda. It's Eldegoss. It's really fluffy. That is an impressive amount of fluff. Eldegoss has got to be the answer to the quiz professor's question. All right then, let's go back and tell her the answer. All right, so I'll rush all the way back over there, get this quiz done, and then we're done all the local quests. So that's fantastic. So, detective, have you identified the fluffiest fluffster around the ruins? <laughs> yes, of course. The answer is Eldegoss. Yes, that's correct. Didn't you just want to give it a big hug? By the way, Eldegoss's ca cotton is used as a material for all sorts of clothing. And not only that, the seeds attached to its cotton are highly nutritious for Pokemon. It really is an amazing Pokemon. Not only cute, but helpful as well. Uh, cute and helpful? Is there anything you can't do? Our daily lives are improved by so many different Pokemon helping us out. Well, that's it for today's quiz. I hope you're looking forward to the next time we meet. I've got a feeling we're gonna keep running into her. Yes, well, please go easy on us, okay? So there we go, our local concern figured out. That was our last one. So I'm glad we got those all done. Um, Is there any more <laughs> we could talk to? Shuckle looks really cold too. It says it's gonna make some really nutritious juice now. Oh, that's a relief. And then the low tad. Hey. Hi there, we're getting ready to go home now. We'll come visit again sometime. And we'll bring our music loving, loving friend too. All right, that's so cute. So I'm just trying to catch up with whatever Pokemon are left so that we can just sort of say goodbye to everybody. So I don't know if we can say goodbye to any of 
these Pokemon. Doesn't seem like it. So we'll rush back over and say goodbye to Ursaring over here. Uh, Urs nice. Ursa. Hmm. Oh, you're so, you're, 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 wor you're sorry, you're worried, your friend? I'm sure they're just happy to know you're safe. And then back over here, there was still a few more Pokemon, right? Under the Eldegoss, but there's Pissimian over here. Yes. Sorry, sorry. Sorry about all the fuss we caused. You want to know if that this cold is going away? I think this place will be back to its usual climate real soon. Sure hope so. And then there was the little solar Pokemon over here. It's okay now, Soul Rock. We've solved the case, so the weather should go back to normal soon. It'll probably take a little time for, for the place to warm up again. Hang in there just a little longer, okay? Okay, so that should be everybody. We'll chat with everybody around here and then just head out. Oh, Ice Q's ice is back to normal. Ice Q's face is pretty sensitive to the heat. I bet she wants to keep it nice and cold. You're thanking us for before? Nah, you were the one who saved us. I'm sure Darmanitan, Darmanitan's really happy about that too. Really did save us. Hmm, do I want to ride? Uh, not for now. Hey. No, I'm fine right now. Thanks, so. And then over here we got Slowpoke. You're hungry now that we've escaped, huh? Oh, I see. You want some of Chris's curry. Everyone seems to really love his curry. Right. Dramatitan and his friends aren't from this place. They must have been brought by here by the humans. I give you my word that I'll return these Pokemon to their proper home. That's great. We got Chris over mm. here. I'm so glad you found the professor and brought him back safe and sound. Thank you so much, Tim. Please come visit us at the university sometime. We'll be sure to prepare a big thank you. Mm -hmm. You need a bigger pot since you've made so many new friends? He says he's gonna eat curry with all the others to, to become better friends. That sounds like a Munchlax plan, all right. All right, and then finally we'll talk to Ra Rachel since yes. I think we're ready to go home. Are you ready to go home, Tim? Yes, we are. Mm -hmm. Yeah, let's go. You know, today was really fun. Really? It was touch and go there for a bit. I know, right? It was so exciting. Plus, I got to learn about what kinds of things you're usually up to. You better hit me up for your next case, too. <laughs> I'm not sure about that. Don't worry, I'm just messing around. I know I'd just be a, be a bother if I tagged along every time. Anyway, let's go home. So wrapping up quite the exciting adventure today. Second Avenue, Rhyme City, later that evening. What's that? Huh? Look. What's going on? Huh? Oh no. It's Mewtwo and the Beedrill again. Hey, up there. Mewtwo? Huh? What's that behind it? It's... There's something wrong. Is that a human? <laughs> Oh, this is getting messy. Watch out! Oh, not good. Oh no. You two's crashing fast. Oh no, they're coming this way. Everyone, take cover now. <laughs> not good. No way, Harry. Dad. That's Harry. You! What do you think you're doing with my dad? Be true. Don't let them interfere. Attack! Here. This is not good. Now the Beedrill going after us? Whoa. A shield? Mewtwo. It was Mewtwo. Whoa! Little taste of their own medicine. But they're taking Harry. Wait, come back. Dad. <laughs> they're gone. Is Pew 2 okay? What just happened? Why did you have Harry? 
terrible. Pokemon battling in the city? It's just like Mayor Myers told us. Pokemon have to be managed. This is not good. You need to get out of here. So it would seem. Do not worry about that human. Easier said than done. Tim, does Pikachu actually know Mewtwo? You could say that. That's incredible. I guess. But where did those guys take my dad? There was a lot going How can on I get there. My father back. There must be something I can do. With all the unrest gripping the city, the police have got to know something. Of course. I'll just talk to Inspector Holiday. He's bound to know something useful. That was quite the exciting ending to today's chapter. There is so much going on in the game right now, but after an exciting day of exploring the ruins and making your way out with the professor, Mewtwo was attacked by Beedrill, but seen with Harry. So what could this all mean? We'll have to find out more in the next episode of Detective Pikachu Returns. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.